Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey and I have an island tour for you today. This island is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It is a whimsical natural island. It, I would say it borders on fairy core or maybe even almost a jungle core even or a forest core. It's just a very natural, gorgeous, stunning island. It really did grab my attention immediately when it was submitted. And this island is by Hoshimasa. Unfortunately, I cannot read the characters of the name of the island, but I will show you the map. So here we have our main character and we have the other resident. And on the island are Teddy, Snake, Blue Nuggies, Pico, Gladys, B, Blanche, Lucky, Mail, and Walt. Y'all know how I feel about the villagers. I don't. We're going to just skip to the next part, which is the best part, the island. Let me just go and show you this beautiful, majestic island. We're going to head back towards resident services so I could just show you where I came from. My fingers are a little bit unsteady, so I'm so sorry if it's a little bit wobbly. I'm trying really hard to keep it steady. So this is resident services where we woke up. All of the decor here is very natural and beautiful. So stunning. I love natural islands like this. I never quite can make them myself, but they are so beautiful. And B looks so cute over here. She really is adorable. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the left towards the Able Sisters. I do love that Resident Services is pretty close by and the Able Sisters is also pretty close. Over here we have a natural decor Able Sisters. It looks really nice. And then we have Nook's Cranny right next to it. The custom codes on this island are of course beautiful. Everything on this island is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so on this front beach, we have like a really cute little picnic area over here with a snake. He's obviously enjoying himself here, maybe playing some games or something. And there's a little um, seating area right over here with a sandcastle, which is really adorable. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to the left just because it seems like a good place to go. I don't know. Over to the left, we have the campsite, and this looks so good. Is that a mushroom? Oh, no, it's an acorn. Okay. And we have the campsite over here. It looks so cute. So I really tried very hard to climb up that ladder behind the campsite, but it is just for visuals only. But look at the view. It's stunning. It's so gorgeous. I love the way this looks. Everything about it is beautiful. The log table is just so fitting. The natural wood. There's not a lot of items, but then there is this feeling of fullness and coziness here. And I love that. There's a little song circle over here. So if anyone can translate this for me, I'd be happy to update the information on the video. This is so cool. Our little character looks so whimsical and cool. I love his little outfit. That's adorable. So over here, we're going to come to a dead end, um, pretty much. It's the end of the campsite. Of course, there's a little laundry area and another little camping area, which is really cool. And I cannot get to the rest of it until I go see the rest of the island. So over by Nook's Cranny, there's a little incline right here. I can't wait to climb up and see what is over there. Oh, wow. We have a little rock garden right here. This is super cute. I love the way that looks. And I love the way it's surrounded by wheat fields. I love me a good wheat field. Over here, we have the sunken ruined area. And it is absolutely beautiful and stunning. Oh, my gosh. It looks so good, you guys. Check that out. I just realized that was a water custom code down there, and it looks so much like the actual in-game water. It really blew me away. So cool. So our museum is over here looking very natural. It looks so cool. I just want to point out really quick that they did a really good job of blocking off directions that you're not supposed to go in. 
So they did a really, really good job of making sure that you really only saw exactly what they wanted you to. You didn't get lost in the background decor or the decor that was put around just for aesthetics or just for surroundings. You really do have to go exactly through what you're supposed to in order to see the, the views of the island the way you were meant to see them. And I do appreciate that. Since that was as far as we could go on the left, I'm going to go head over to the right now and see what's going on over here. We have a bee hanging out once again. Sorry, girl. And in the front, let's see. It looks like there's something over here. Oh, look at it. It's like a little ice cream shop or a little refreshment stand. That is so cute. And can we just take a minute to appreciate the terraforming on this flamingo waterfall situation? The terraforming on this river mouth is next level. If you're ever wondering what to do on a natural island with your river mouth, this is it, y'all. This is stunning. This is absolutely gorgeous. Next level terraforming going on right here. I absolutely love it. I can't do anything quite this good. It's so, so good. So right now we are in front of one of the houses and I haven't gone in it yet, so I cannot wait to see it. Let's go in. Oh, how cute. Okay, so this is just a very cozy little home. It's like a cozy little beachfront home. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. It's very cozy. I love the little music box and the twinkling sounds in here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the back room. Okay, so over here we have the bathroom. It looks very spa-like and beautiful. I love the way this looks. So there's a little laundry area over here. In America, we do not have laundry areas in our bathroom, but is that very common in Japan or is that just something in Animal Crossing? Over here we have our vanity and I love the way the wedding, um, hanging wedding decor looks right over there. And then over, and then over this way, we have the loo that you can use should you need to. In the room to the right, we have this beautiful little indoor outdoor area. Wow, look at this. It's so beautiful and ethereal and just kind of whimsical and magical, but at the same time, kind of industrial with the concrete and everything. I... I love the way it looks and I love the combination of this woodsy natural with this indoor kind of concrete look. It's so cool. And right over here we have a little kitchen area. I love the little island over here with the seating on one side. It's so cute and I love the little 80s kind of glass tiles over there. Those are really cool. That's a beautiful custom code, really neat. And the little shutters above the um, counter over here are so cool. I love the grill over here. This is such a neat room with a little fax machine. Oh my gosh, it's so detailed and so good. Okay, so here we have this beautiful city skyline. It's so cool. And then we have a chandelier up above. It's a beautiful penthouse living situation. So neat. I love the way this looks right here. Oh my goodness. The way this was done is really cool. Okay, guys, we're about to go into the basement. You guys know how I feel about basements. So let's get this one going. No suitcases, no blood. Look at this. It's so cool. It's just like a little uh, work garage. That's really neat. I love the way this was set up like a real garage. So cool. Okay, so that was the inside of this really neat house over here on the beach. Super cool. We're going to head over more to the right and see what's going on over here. We have a villager house over here. It looks so cute and whimsical. I love the way that looks. Super awesome. 
And then we have this little bridge right here, which is really nice, the plain wooden bridge. And it looks like there's a little bakery over here, which is gonna be Bee's house. If you guys know the inside of Bee's house, that she has a little bakery inside and it looks so good. And then the beaches over here are very natural all the way down. I love the way this looks over here. I do love a good natural beach. Um, super nice over here. Very realistic looking. Very natural. Um, and we came to the peninsula. The peninsula looks so good. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so cool. It's almost like House Moving Castle, right? Okay, so let's go inside and see what there is. Oh, it's a spa. Look at how beautiful it is back here. Such a pretty spa. I love that. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to go back to the front and um, move, work our way back on the inside of the island. First, I'm going to work my way forward over here because I realized that I didn't see the right half of the front beach. And everything on this island appears to be decorated. <gasps> Look at how cute it is. A little surf shack house. That is so cute. And then the river mouth over there. Oh my goodness. This is such a stunning view over here. I love it. If we go inside this house, it is Lucky's house. And look at how cute it is. She has a little casita on the beach. Oh, it's so cute. I love the way that looks. Now, although I love the house, I don't love Plucky. So I'm definitely not going to stop for a chat. So coming up this incline over here, we have a villager's house. This is Walt's house and this looks so cute. We have a little farm over here and then we set things on fire because if you've ever seen the inside of his house, he probably needs to burn a lot of things, you know, um, because it's, it's definitely a house in there. And I love the way the pumpkin and everything is on the, the barrels over there. It looks so cool. So natural over there. And then I'm going to go down this incline right over here because there's an incline here. And look how pretty that looks. Oh, it looks like there's a ladder over here. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. I cannot. I don't have any words for the beautiful terraforming on this island, but it's so beautiful. I do love the way this person is terraforming their island. It's gorgeous. Okay, we're going to make our way over this bridge over here. And we have another villager's house. This villager's house is decorated really cute as well. Just very natural. It looks like there's a rock that got left behind right up front over there. And I love that. That's awesome. Back behind resident services, there's also this really cool view that I just caught on to right now. I thought I'd come back here and show you with the diagonal bridge. It looks so good. And then with the other bridge in the background, check this out. This is absolutely stunning. Super gorgeous. Okay, I just wanted to show that to you before we moved along. We have a bottomless well over there. I love all the ruined castle items throughout. I think this is Blue Nuggie's house. It has a blue roof and it's Asian inspired, which usually Ken's house is Asian inspired. I don't know if it has a blue roof, but we have another resident house right over here at the back of the island. I'm going to go see what's over here really quick before I check that out. Oh, wow. Look at this view. Everywhere I look on this island, there's just so many magical views. Look at that. That is so beautiful. Okay, so before I go that way, let's just go ahead and check the inside of this house right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is so cool. There's like a maze. There's the kotatsu right there. But there's like a path to get over to the other room over here. That's really neat. I've never seen that before. And that's such a great idea. 
Oh, and this is a restroom and a sauna. Look at how cool that is. That is beautiful, you guys. Wow. Absolutely magical. Okay, so the room in the back is a cute little, like, takeout, I guess, a uh, kitchen, but it's like an or there's an order window. So maybe it's this is like a bed and breakfast of sorts. Um, I don't know. They have uh, spicy juice over there. Very cool. Maybe scratch the bed and breakfast because to the left we have a child's room. And oh, this is so cute. There's a little switch and some cookies on the floor. And a little wooden bed and some astrology and the telescope. So cute. This is so appropriate for a children's room. If we come up to the attic, there is a, another little room up here, but it looks like it might be a grown-up's bedroom. There's a writing area over here, maybe where they're doing their business. And over here, it looks like a, let's see. Oh, over here is like a vanity room to get ready. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we have a basement. Oh. Enemy spotted. I probably came down here a little too confidently because um, the last basement didn't seem like such a big deal. But we have that over there. We have garbage bags. We have fungus growing and dirty shoes. Let's, let's just go. The main floor and the attic of that house were 10 out of 10 top tier decorating in there. And over here, where are we going? There is an incline and what do we have? Okay, so over here we have a Blanche and we have another villager house. We've made it all the way to the other beach. Look at all of the terraforming. The terraforming on this island is so good. Let's go down this beach because I couldn't get to it over here. This is where the campsite was and I couldn't get to the other side. So there's supposed to be a fish market over here so you can enjoy your fish right there. And then on the back rocks, there is a fish market. Check it out. It looks so cool. I love that. So we have a broken down boat behind this house over here. Really cool. All of this nature is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Up here, we have a memorial or a shrine of sorts. So here is where you're going to pay your respects on the sh shrine or the memorial that we have going on here. Just a beautiful place for that. And then if I make my way this way, we have the secret beach. Oh, I love that. The secret beach is like hidden by the glowing moss like it's almost radioactive as you go back oh wow and the cliffs are decorated they are so decorated you guys like if you happen to accidentally walk by part of a cliff it is going to be fully decorated that is my kind of decor right there behind this house right here the cherry blossoms and everything are just so gorgeous this is so pretty and here we have another villager house, a super cute. There's a little apiary. They're cutting down trees, maybe trying to get the honey from the bees. You never know. It looks so good, though. I love the way this area looks right here, all wooded and beautiful. So over here, we have the last house over by the peninsula. And here we have our peninsula and the spa that we saw earlier. Sadly, this beautiful spot right here is where we're going to have to end it. Thank you so much to Hashima Hoshimasa for allowing me to visit your beautiful island. I really appreciate it so much. It's absolutely stunning, and I hope you continue playing Animal Crossing and share many, many, many more islands. I'm going to leave the dream address down in the description below. You guys feel free to come and visit this beautiful island on your own. And I know you can be anywhere on the entire internet. And you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit of time. And I appreciate you so much for that. I will see you in the next one. Bye.